Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger and your Energy Forecaster for today, Tuesday, November 5th, 2013. Thank you for taking time to watch this video, subscribe, and, and pot, 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 post, retweet, repost, um, and all that good stuff as you feel led. I truly appreciate it. Today is the number five day, which is our faith card. Five is always in my uh, my work, a very driven, moving, it's halfway through the numbers. There's a lot of energy behind it. Our faith card is often about, you know, just being driven, you know, and, and what our belief system is. And when there's changes going on there, it's pretty powerful. But today, I just feel like it's kind of a, a reflection of, of the day and the nature of that. Also, 11-5-2013 uh, boils down to the number 13, which is death. So, And then that also boils down to number 4, which is the emperor. So I do feel like with that, there's... Um, uh, I, I do feel like there's a, some relationships ending, especially with another masculine emperor male type character. Um, not always a male, but could be a female. But uh, also, I feel like there's some endings of belief systems. Um, and especially when they're really driven by someone else in and around and near you. So look for that uh, energy in your life today. You know, recognize it's coming up. Realize, okay, this is part of the path of today that, that Mitchell was talking about. Um, uh, and it's not a must because I like to look at this as this is your, these are the available ingredients for your day today. Um, you can use them or not. Um, often when we use them, it's like I just got the image of, of like karate. I have not taken it, but I'm always told that, you know, if someone throws a punch and you try to stop it, that's your heart energy hitting their heart energy, and that's, that's powerful and painful. But if you take their power and use it to flip them, it, it you you you've got you don't have to do any of the work. You just use their energy to flip them, and that's what I'm getting to feel today. So really use the energy of this number five day, the death, um, the emperor kind of a card, and use the ingredients that you're offered today to make your day a little easier. Where you just go with the flow, go with the flow. The punch was not the best image. Um, think of like a river, and you're trying to stop it with a dam. If you just jump on a boat and go down, it's going to be a whole lot easier. That's a prettier metaphor right there, isn't it? Card for today. Let me dive into that. And it is the six of coins. So number six, I like that it comes right after the number five. And uh, it you know, so it follows that. And I just realized my microphone is laying on the table folded up, so I hope you can hear me. I think you can. <laughs> if the music's down or that my volume is down, that's why. But I've done this before and it was okay. So, number six. So six is right after five, so we're moving through this in a progressive kind of way. Coins are about your business resources, finances, family, even health. And this feels like things are coming back into balance. So using this faith number, the faith card, the number five, death and the emperor, you're going to bring a lot of things back into balance by going with that flow, going with the punch, using their energy, using the river flow, bringing things back into balance, especially in the area of earth element things, which again is resources, finances, money, your home, your health, family and things like that. Um, as you can see, there's a moon image and the Taurus image there in Earth because those are one of some of our Earth elements. And I'm being told to look up a little bit more on the Taurus. I have my cheat sheet here. Um, so, yeah, I'm being drawn to Taurus, Scorpio. Um, uh, look at the possessive versus sharing. So sometimes our Tauruses can be a little bit more possessive. And there's something else I'm supposed to be looking into. It's going to give me. OK, yes, thank you. So um, if for those of you who are Tauruses or more, more Earth elements, release your stubbornness because that's like blocking the punch. That's like the, um, the block and the dam of the river. So release that stubbornness just a little bit today. I'm being told to draw one final card. I don't know why. It's going to add even more energy to today. Nine of coins, beautiful. This is what happens when you unblock it. You get this beautiful home life, this serene garden, this peaceful and beautiful place. So release that, release that stubbornness, allow the blocks to go, and it definitely moves you into a better place. So there's your forecast for today. Thank you so much. Blog Talk Radio Show tomorrow night. It's just going to be me doing readings. Um, I'm always available for readings, mostly on the weekends, although I do have a few during the week, usually Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday late night, an 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time uh, place. But um, Saturdays and Sundays morning, mid-afternoon, 
when I do my readings. And um, go to intuitivemessenger.org. Check that out. Um, I'm posting an animal totem in the afternoon. It seems to be working, and spirits led me to it. I know when it's right when I look forward to doing it. You know, even when I'm kind of dragging my feet to get there, I still want to be there. Uh, it's like these morning posts. You know, this takes me about 30, 45 minutes, but I look forward to doing it every day. Um, I even did it when I was on vacation, but I've also been given the the, the let off and allowed to uh, move away from that when I go on vacation, take that break. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste to you all. Have an amazing day. Talk to you guys tomorrow morning and tomorrow night, and you'll see a post this afternoon. Make sure you're on my Facebook page or my Pinterest. I put, put them in both places. Also Twitter as well, so you can find me there. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.